Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to write the code for the steps which we discussed in our previous video for deserializing of XML data. So in our test class, I have added a new method where I'm expecting the data in XML format. For that, I have updated the header also. So the step one is to create the instance of XML serializer and pass the model type as an parameter to the constructor of this class. So XML serializer equal to new XML serializer and we need to specify the model type. So for that I will use type of operator and specify the class name. In our case, we need to specify the top level class. That is the root class, which is laptop details. So step two is to create the instance of text reader. So text reader. Now, if you look at the documentation of this class, this is an abstract class. So I cannot create the instance of this class. For that, I need to use a child class which inherit from this class. So I will use the child class which is string reader. And this will read the data from the response. So rest response dot response content so as you can see here the string reader re, uh, extends from the text reader that means inherits from the text reader so i can create the instance like this and the step three is to call the deserialize method by passing the text reader instance as an argument to that method so xml serializer dot deserialize and the argument to this method is text reader. Okay. And this will deslice the response to our model. So XML data. So as you can see here, currently we are getting compilation error and it clearly says that it cannot convert the object to the model type. So that means we need to typecast it as the return type of this method is object. So to typecast, just use the class name in the brackets and after that I will use console dot write line to invoke the to string method so I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and build the solution run this script in a debug mode So as you can see here, we are getting an exception. It's saying that public type cannot be processed. Okay. So if you look at the laptop details class, it's not public. We need to make it public. So I will do a step over. And as you can see here, the deserialization happened and we are getting the data inside the object that is XML data. So XML data dot laptop dot brand name similarly ID laptop name and then features so features dot feature as we know that it's a list so I need to use the index to fetch the value. So this is how you deserialize the XML response data.